Welcome to our lecture online. So here's part two to the problem we started on the previous video where we had the circuit, we had a capacitor, two voltage supplies, two resistors, and a switch. Initially the switch was placed to P and we calculated Q1 on the capacitor. Now what's going to happen is the switch is now going to be connected to Q instead. And now we have a different kind of circuit, and now we're supposed to find the charge on the capacitor again. If we run read the problem, it says, <clears throat> In the circuit shown below, the switch S is connected to position P for a long time, so that the charge on the capacitor becomes Q1 microcoulombs. Then S is switched to position Q, that's this part right here, after a long time. Again, we have to wait till steady state has arrived. Then the charge on the capacitor is Q2 microcoulombs, so now we need to find Q2. Notice that the 1 volt supply has now been eliminated. There's no continuous circuit there, so now we can see that the current will flow through the circuit like this. So we have I going through the circuit in this direction. And if we then take a look at the voltage drop, we have 0 volts at this point. We have plus 2 volts here and I'm back to zero volts over here. Notice that two volts are dropped across the two resistors because once we have steady state reached, then the current through here, I is going to be equal to zero after steady state has reached, after capacitor is fully charged. So two thirds of two volts will be dropped across here. So two thirds of two volts would be 1.33 volts of a drop between here and here, and then one third of two volts or 0.67 volts will be dropped between here and here. So two volts minus 1.33 volts will be 0.67 volts at this point, and then 0.67 volts is dropped to get back to zero. So the potential across capacitor now is 0.67 volts. Again, we use the equation that the capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage, which means that the charge is equal to C times V. In this case, C is 1 microfarad, and the voltage across capacitor is now 0.67 volts. So that means that we have 0.67 microcoulombs of charge, and that will now be 0.67 microcoulombs of charge in the capacitor after we take the switch and move it into this position, and that's how it changes the circuit. And that is how it's done. Pretty straightforward once you get that.